Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about the Undying Mind and basically how it's uh, mad disappointing. Like, I'm going to be real with you. Now, I ended up completing the triumph to get the, the three kills of the Undying Mind. I was expecting this to be a little harder. I was expecting this to be like raid related or like the the Vex Offensive turning into like a pinnacle activity where only the highest people can go in and then complete it. But no, like lo and behold... It's just the Vex Offensive, but like, I'm like not even kidding. They just reskin the Minotaur at the end. And I say reskin because there's like nothing new aside from like the three shields that like rotate. Aside from that, that's it. Like the Titan or the Titan, the the Minotaur had the ground slam and uh, the void uh, things that he used to blast out. It's essentially the same thing for Undying Mine. It's just that it's a... Uh, it's a Hydra. That's it. So you don't even get anything crazy. Like if, if I remember correctly from Destiny 1, if you beat the Undying Mine, you got Imago Loop. And I think later on when they introduced the uh, strike specific stuff, unless it's just on top of that, it was Imago Loop, which is a really good hand cannon and the Mark of the Undying uh, Mind. Which is, it was really cool. I'm gonna have all of these in the screen, in the screen, obviously. But I, I'm just mad, at this point. Like, I, okay, obviously, like, may, yeah, maybe Mago Loop was too much to like hope for. But like, at least give us like, I don't know. Since there was a mark in Destiny One, give us a mark, a cloak, and um, a bond or band for for each class respectively. Like something like that would have been cool. Like. If you guys see the the undying mark it's literally just like like uh like vines and moss and like very organic looking it would have been cool if you just gave that to us but like as a hunter with like the hood having like vines going down and whatnot and the same thing for the warlocks it would have been cool if it was just like vines going down to like the elbow or something but like it's literally just go to Ikora. She's like, hey, yo, we've killed a lot, but you only got to kill like three. So like do the thing. So once you kill, kill the, whatchamacallit, the ghost is like, hey, we did it. Like, cool, but we still got to do more because there's still a lot left in the, in the garden because of different timelines. So people are theorizing that like, oh, wait, maybe we have to kill a certain amount before like we get like something really cool happen. Honestly, I really do like that the Bungie community is really like positive and just endearing at that time and that, at that aspect. But for me, in my opinion, I just dude, just call it how it is. It's disappointing. The last event for this season is super uneventful and it's just super depressing when you're going through the whole DLC and then all you're waiting for is the new events coming in and out. Like that's all literally what we were all waiting for because let's be real, the the event, the Halloween event did not slap. It was it was it was all wet. It was like literally whatever. So I was hoping that like the Vex of my the Vex uh, offensive would have like a different spin because of the Undying Mine. But no, all I got was a disappointment again. And I'm just, I'm tired, guys. I'm really tired of just like, oh, okay, cool. So like my expectations should be lowered. And it all comes back to that. Like my expectations should be lowered. That way I never get, I, I never get disappointed because at this point they fucked up like the end of, of the a season. Like, you know how fucking dumb that is? Like I remember in other expansions for like, wow, for example, they would give you multiple raids, but the last raid had like the the conclusion, like the like the thing that like made you want to play more. I like I remember when Legion after they killed who I think it was Archimond, if I remember correctly. After, they killed Archimond. It was so crazy. It was like what the fuck. If I remember correctly, it's just super disappointing when the last event is just a reskin of the last boss. The 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 me like the arena doesn't even change dog we killed it in one try like one go what the fuck oh man <sighs> it would have been awesome if we could get an imago loop it would have been it's i would be fine with like random rolled imago loops in the rotation that would have been fine i would have been okay if like <sighs> the undying mind had like 
a harder difficulty. Like you go to the regular Vex offensive and then go to the Undying offensive or the the whatever the un Undying Mind Vex offensive, which I would have been okay if like they send us to another pl another place in uh, in the garden. Shit, it would I would have been super okay if they just brought the garden back from Destiny One and we had to kill it in that big ass area. I would have been fine with that. I would have been fine with just them doing something else, not just reskin last boss insert here. Like what the? Oh man, it's really wild to me because like I've been playing a little more Destiny because because of this actually. So because of the whole like. Oh, the Halloween event's gonna end soon, so I might as well get everything I wanted, which is literally just the broom. I got the broom. Everything else, I was like, fuck, I don't care at this point. And then I waited for the reset, got into the reset, got the helmets for each of the the armor that Eververse was selling, and I was like, all right, cool, let's go do the Vex Offensive. Went to Ikora, and she's like, all right, go do the thing. I did the thing, and I was just like, wow, like, y'all really, y'all really did not do any effort into this. Like, the last... Like, the whole reason why I'm just, like, very, like, everywhere is because I'm just shocked that they thought this was okay. I'm, I'm really, like, shocked that, like, this was, they, they planned this, all the seasons, and then they were like, alright, so what are we gonna do for the last event? Uh, just, uh, reskin the last boss into the Undying Mind. Uh, won't people get mad? Nah, nah, people won't get mad. People won't get disappointed because, like, it's the Undying Mind. Like, that holds weight. And it's like, yeah, it actually does hold weight, but not enough to where people are just going to be like, oh, it's fine, though, because it's the Undying Mind. Like, it's cool that he's back. No, like, Imago, it, like, I promise you, if Imago Loop came back with random rolls, people probably would be like, all right, that's fine. Like, whatever. And I probably would have been like, yeah, that's fine. Imago Loop was dope, so... I think I said I had a roll, so uh, I would have been like, yeah, it's fine. I don't really mind it, but nah, like we, we really have to when, when we just want one weapon from an event, that's how, you know, the destiny community is just like literally scrounging for scraps at this point. And it kills me. Cause like th it shouldn't have been like this, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if like you you thought it was amazing. Please don't tell me that uh, I can't take it like really, but other than that, Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for, for the follows, for the likes, for the shares, everything. I really do appreciate it. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.